आज मैं आपसे वेस्ट वाटर टेक्नोलॉजी पे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग लेकिन जस्ट एक आपको इंट्रोडक्शन देने के लिए बिफोर आई शेयर माई बीपीटी मैं सबसे पहले आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू से दैट वी ऑल नो दैट वॉटर इज अलेक्र ऑफ लाइफ वॉटर इज लाइफ इट इज इसल फॉर अवर डेली सस्टेनेंस हमारी सस्टेनेंस के लिए हेल्थी लिविंग के लिए इट इज वेरी इसेंशियल बट द वी नो दैट हाउ मच स्कॉर्स इट हैज बिकम वॉटर ग्राउंड वॉटर लेवल इज प्लूमेटिंग द वॉटर रिसोर्सेज आर कंटेमिनेटेड एंड देर इज कंजम्पन चैलेंज द चैलेंजेस because of increasing urbanization because of increasing population because of different type of land use change industrialization food production practices increased living standard and very poor water use practices these have become there are huge challenges in water sectors and they are increasing many fold we know that good water quality is essential to human health it is very essential for social and economic development and also for ecosystem so it is the importance of uh, this water resource we know that it is so important that even sustainable development goal 17 uh, out of these 17 uh, sustainable development goal or what we say that which is very core of 2013 agenda for sustainable development goal 6 that is sdg 6 it is specially it talks about the uh, availability and sustainable management of water not only the water availability of water but also water quality uh, the sanitation aspect it all has linking with the all other sdg so why i am saying that why the the topic is waste water technologies the first thing which i am going to focus is why the waste water technology is required what is the waste water and how it is generated we know that uh, first i will talk about why we are talking about the waste water we know that the quality of water when i say that quality of water is important quality is important because poor quality water it it poses risk to public health we all are aware about the different kind of water borne diseases which are occurring if you have read the united nation report uh, recently published any uh, am i audible yes ma'am you are audible please continue okay, okay. so come back over uh, what i was saying yeah there are number of uh, if you said the read the united uh, nations recent report you will be finding and you will be amazed to know that more than uh, 70% of the kids they are suffering or their death is the use of this contaminated water the young infant due to diarrhea due to various type of uh, unhygienic water there are number of uh, diseases are occurring the waste water which is released uh, untreated waste water whether it is domestic waste water which contains pathogens organics and nutrient the waste water which is released from industries or other uh, establishment they they may have variety of contaminants variety of metals variety of uh, different type of toxic compound so all these are creating a huge uh, damage to environment health and also the human health beside that there are scarcity of water there are uh, the reason where there is very less water is available uh, around uh, if you see so there are two aspects one is water is a scarce resource second is water is continuously polluted so what we need is is the management of this water uh, you might have uh, read the hierarchy of water management that is uh, reduce reuse how to what is circular economy how we can use this waste water for various purposes so if we see the data around 80% of the all waste water which is discharged into the world waterway it creates different type of hazard it causes environmental hazard it causes climatic hazard it causes uh, eutrophication it is also uh, responsible for various type of greenhouse gas emission so there are number of uh, not only this water is being wasted but it is also creating uh, problem to human health 
So that's why wastewater management is very important and it is considered as a sustainable source for water, not only for water, energy, nutrient and other recoverable byproducts. So the basic aim of wastewater treatment is to reduce the level of pollutant in the wastewater before it is reused or disposed into the environment. So before disposing or before treating, there is a need to uh, make it to the standard of the treatment which will be required and uh, depending upon the location and which will be uh, depending upon the uh, specific condition. So coming to the PPT, now this th that is what I have given a brief introduction about why wastewater treatment is required. So first thing is what is wastewater? How wastewater is important? Why, uh, how we will say that it is, sorry. So first thing is what is wastewater? How we will define the wastewater? Wastewater, if you see that, how, how, student, can you define wastewater? What water you will be saying it is wastewater? Can anybody define it? Student? Sir, are they unmute or uh, they can speak? Krishna, can they unmute themselves? Yes, ma'am. Influence from the industries. Okay. Uh, uh, anyone else? Is the question. What is wastewater? We, were, we are discussing wastewater technology. So can anybody tell me what is wastewater? How you will define wastewater? I think uh, wastewater is the water which cannot be used by the living things. I mean, uh, I mean human, which may impact the health of the human. How wastewater? Uh, anyone else? Anyone else? Types of wastewater? Uh, I think there are two types of wastewater, uh, industrial waste and domestic waste. Okay. Anybody else? So when I say wastewater, when I say wastewater, there are many things which need to be considered. The wastewater is not only it is uh, produced from the industry, but also there are agriculture waste, there are industrial waste, there are domestic waste, the waste which is discharged from residential building, commercial establishment, industries and agriculture. It contain a wide range of potential <laughs> contaminant from different... Hello? Okay, so what is wastewater? When we say wastewater, wastewater is any type of water that has been utilized in some cap capacity that is negatively impacts the quality of water. In other words, we can say that wastewater is any water that has been adversely affected in quality. Basically, it is because of human activity, because of anthropogenic influence. There are various type of waste which is discharged from residential building. It may discharge from commercial establishment. It may discharge from industry, agriculture, and it contain a large amount of or uh, different concentration of different compounds. When we say about in urban, urban context is basically, it refers about the municipal wastewater, which is generated from residential structures. Uh, from business establishment, uh, from different type of industry. Wastewater does not include the storm water. The water which is originated during precipitation or even during snow melt, it is not water or any contaminated water of a natural body. When we are saying about the wastewater, uh, it is very surprising that, uh, that it is still, it is proportionately increasing. And there is necessity for the management of this high volume of water. But there are very few examples when this wastewater is managed. So when we say the classification of water, the water can be classified as blue water, gray water, black water, and green water. Basically, it is uh, on the basis of, 
it is on the basis of uh, source or generation the water is like if we say black water black water means the water which is originated or which is uh, originated from sewage the main constituent of this black water is there may be different type of dissolved suspended organic there may be nitrogen compound there may be protein peptides amino acid urea some form of carbohydrate that is cellulose etc there may be minor amount of priority pollutant then there is gray water gray water again it is uh, uh, sewage water is black water the gray water which is discharged from our uh, kitchen or which is discharged from our washroom toiletries basically it contains soap shampoo hair nutrient body fats etc then there is agriculture runoff and there is industrial effluent so agriculture runoff when we say it is also contain various type of nutrient it there may be pesticide there may be fertilizer there may be soil remain plant remain and herbicides pesticides etc so on the basis of that the waste water can be classified so as i was telling the waste water can be of blue water green water gray water and black water we know that very little amount of water is available for us for our use most of the water is uh, ground water then uh, maximum amount is logged in uh, oceans only us uh, than glaciers only a very small amount of water is available for us as fresh water this fresh water only we can use that is known as blue water there is certain uh, amount of water which is in trap in the vegetation because of various uh, evaporation and transpiration uh, process that is trapped in the vegetation that is green water this water also we cannot use for our uh, purposes so now when we talk about the waste water the two type of water one is gray water one is black water again the gray water which is basically uh, is less polluted we can use this waste water for the reuse or for treatment and various type of waste water technology can be used for treatment of this type of waste so when we define the waste the waste water can be a combination of one or more of a domestic effluent that is consist of black water etc fecal salad sludge etc gray water kitchen and bathing waste it can be from the commercial est establishment which may include hospital also but it is basically a uh, health sector waste then there is industrial effluent etc agriculture horticulture aquaculture and other type of waste before uh, all these things i just wanted to share few facts and figures in a very fast manner because uh, just for your knowledge these are the finding of few of the record a few of the uh, uh reports according to unesco in 2017 globally 80% of waste water flows back into the ecosystem without being treated or reused that is the reason for various type of health related issues the second is again from unesco they uh, is reported that opportunity from exploiting waste water as a resource are enormous we know it safely manage waste water is an affordable and sustainable source of water energy nutrient and other recoverable material again united nation water in 2011 the water availability is basically by affected by pollution various type of pollution whether it is uh, industrial whether it is domestic whether it is uh, various type of toxic matter from agriculture these are ultimately going to our ecosystem and affecting our health the most importantly if you see currently most of the city do not have any inadequate infrastructure and resources to address this waste water management in an efficient and sustainable way this um, i think uh, um, you all know that uh, the kind of wa resource water has become it is a very scarce resource we are facing the water security i have uh, in introduction it itself i have said that various report says that the Uh, use of unsafe water and sanitation they are directly linked with the children's mortality poor hygiene poor sanitation or unsafe drinking water 
this is just uh, I wanted to share with you the Niti Aayog uh, report, which is mainly uh, focus on India's water crisis. In this map, the Niti Aayog has given the states which are very uh, high performing, medium performing, and low performing. And there are basically, if you see Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, they manage water resources effectively. So there is water index scores. Meghalaya, Uttarakhand, and Nagaland are the bottom of three states in the index. I think that I have uh, discussed last time also, so I will not discuss this. So what is the need for wastewater management? So uh, to ensure that it is discharged without any possible harmful effect on uh, health of human being, health of living being, animal, vegetable, these waste is also contains various type of toxic metals, so it should be uh, treated before discharging into groundwater, river, lakes, dam, water, etc. And pathogenic e event which are urgent, whether it is bacteria, whether it is virus, whether it is any kind of other uh, pathogenic organism, it should not be disposed into the or um, into the water body. Otherwise, it will cause eutrophication and many diseases, and also to stop any harmful effect of the receiving water body. Now coming to the main topic that is wastewater treatment level. Now, when we say about the wastewater treatment level, there are, uh, if you see that uh, presently disposable practices, if you see that all type of wastewater that together it is diverted into municipal sewage system, okay? And this wastewater then diverted into septic tank. Water from the toilet is also diverted to the municipal sewage system, septic tank, municipal drainage may, soap pit may, etc. So all these is directly going to the sewer system. That's why there are different type of uh, system which need or which is required depending upon the type of waste. So wastewater characteristic, they are changing depending upon the location, depending upon the site and depending upon the different type of uh, areas. Municipal wastewater, if you see uh, earlier in 1900, if I talk, it is basically generated from domestic source. As there is industrial revolution, the industrial development goes, there is increased uh, industrial the discharge of wastewater into the municipal system. So there are different type of method of treatment. The treatment method may be uh, preliminary, primary, advanced primary, secondary, secondary with nutrient removal, tertiary and advanced. When I say pre preliminary, the preliminary is basically for the removal of wastewater constants such as there are, there may be sticks, there may be floatable and uh, floatable and grit, which cause uh, maintenance and operational problem with the treatment. There may be rags. So all these are preliminary. When we say uh, about the treatment level primary, it means removal of a portion of the suspended solid and organic matter in the wastewater. Then there is advanced primary. Advanced primary is it, it uh, involves the enhanced removal of suspended solid and organic matter from the wastewater, usually by chemical addition or filtration. Then there is secondary. Secondary, basically, we know that secondary treatment is basically concerned about removal of biodegradable organic matter. And uh, it is second, suspended solid also. And also it includes some disinfection also. Then secondary with the nutrient removal, the removal of biodegradable, organic, suspended solid and nutri nutrient, whether it is nitrogen, phosphorus or both, that is secondary with nutrient removal. The third level is tertiary. The tertiary is removal of residual suspended solid, usually by granular medium filtration, or there may be micro screens, or there may be disinfection is also maybe part. The Advanced one is removal of dissolved and suspended material, which remains after biological treatment when required for various water reuse application. So wastewater, uh, these are the levels of the uh, wastewater. Then there is uh, uh, 
wastewater reuse application this i will not uh, go in detail we know that this wastewater can be used for agriculture irrigation landscape irrigation industrial reuse groundwater reuse recreation environmental use and non potable use coming to the characteristic of the wastewater when we say that the uh, wastewater characteristic we talk about the physical chemical and biological uh, characteristic for example when we talk about the municipal wastewater it basically comprises of 99.9% of the water and there are relatively small concentration of suspended and dissolved organic and inorganic their organic constituent they may be natural or synthetic organics they may be carbohydrate protein fat oil grease so pesticide agriculture fertilizer volatile organic compound and there may be other toxic chemicals also when we talk about please explain. so i was uh, talking about the uh, characteristic of the wastewater so it may be uh, physical when we talk about the characteristic attributes we talk about the uh, different type of solid what is its temperature color order electricity conductivity turbidity etc the when we talk about the chemical chemical may be ph biochemical oxygen demand we know about vot chemical oxygen demand it may be chloride sulfates nutrient like nitrogen and phosphorus it may be metals like cadmium calcium silver zinc sodium etc there may be many chemical many uh, metals depending upon the type of industrial processes as occurring and the discharge into the water when we say about the biological characteristic it talks about the microorganism bacteria protozoa virus algae helminthes etc so there are different type of uh, solids total solid total volatile solid total fixed solid total suspended solid volatile suspended solid so many solids and so many other uh, type of solids are there when we talk about the color and order basically it is uh, order is basically uh, because of gas that is produced by the decomposition of organic uh, compound the color may be uh, yellowish or light brown basically dark brown foul smell it it determine the type of water temperature conductivity chemical characteristic all these are the uh, characters all these are required to know before the discharging of all the treated waste water in the uh, Uh, water body we know about the biological oxygen demand biological oxygen demand we know is a procedure for determining the amount of dissolved oxygen which is needed by aerobic biological organism in the body to take down organic matter which is basically for a period of 5 days likewise we know about the uh, uh, cod that is the uh, um, uh, amount of uh, Uh, pollution that can be oxidized biologically in a sample of water so all these are the chemical method and then there are biological method so uh, one by one i'll be discussing about the wastewater treatment physical method biological method and chemical method so based on this uh, principle whether the physical chemical or biological there are three type of unit operation one is uh, physical unit operation chemical unit operation and biological unit process so coming to the physical uh, treatment operation when we say physical treatment operation basically we talk about uh, before coming to physical uh, Uh, there are sewage also but i i am not discussing about the sewage i am only discussing about the wastewater because when we talk about the sewage treatment or sludge treatment the type of uh, wastewater treatment uh, will be used will be different conventionally when we talk about the wastewater treatment it uh, uh, it uh, include the stages like preliminary primary secondary and disinfection so there are different type of uh, preliminary and primary treatment basically such as screening which is for removal of debris and large solid there is sedimentation secondary treatment usually uh, uses the biological process like stabilization pond trickling filter oxidation ditch activated sludge and then there is sedimentation of biomass or sludge tertiary treatment or advanced treatment when we talk about it is an additional remove 
uh, or additional treatment by higher level removal of specific pollutant. For example, when we wanted to remove nitrogen or phosphorus, which cannot be removed by conventional secondary treatment. So even relatively simple process such as uh, uh, many developing countries and developed countries they are using, it depends upon the uh, their uh, kind of climate, uh, whether it is a warm climate, tropical, or temperate because all the biological process, the microorganism, they depend upon the type of temperature. So there are different type of process. When I say physical treatment process, the physical treatment process, it is uh, basically when we talk about physical forces, when we use physical forces for the treatment, that is physical unit operation, screening, mixing, flocculation, sedimentation, flotation, Filtration, gas transfer, all these are the example of physical unit operation. Basically, the mainly for treating of suspended rather than dissolved pollutant, the floating pollutant. So this is the first process the, that wastewater encounter. If you see, there are uh, basically when we say uh, physical treatment, it, uh, it uh, basically screening, Communication of the removal of debris and rags. It is grit removal, flotation, and skimming for the removal of oil and grease. The first thing is, which I, I will say that first thing is screening. Screening is one of the oldest physical treatment method. It is used to remove gross pollutant from the waste stream. Basically, it is uh, usually for avoid interference with the uh, operation of the plant. There are different type of uh, screens which are used. Uh, there may be coarse screens that uh, the size of opening is six to 150 millimeter. Basically it remove large solid rags and debris. Then there may be fine screen, which is less than six mm. It reduces suspended solid to primary treatment level. And then there are micro screens which is usually 10 to 35 micrometer and it upgrade the secondary effluent to uh, tertiary standard. Uh, these are the uh, first thing is screening. The second is uh, grit removal. So when we talk about the grit removal, the removal of grit from the fresh water, basically it is accomplished in a grit chamber or it is accomplished by a centrifugal separation of the solids. Grit chamber, they are designed to remove grits. They consist of sand, gravel, cinders, and other heavy solid material. These materials being relatively large size and higher density than those of the organic, putrescible solid in the wastewater. So they have high settling velocity. They settle fast. So grid removal is mainly a differential settling process uh, where there is difference in the density of various material which is used for removal. Basically, the grid is also, it is basically to uh, remove grit and to prevent wear and abrasion of the water pump or mechanical equipment. The third is a physical method is coarse solid reduction. So coarse solid, very, very solid, how to reduce that? Communitus or messy, mass creator, mass creator, they are used to intercept coarse solid and they use to uh, use for grinding and shredding them. Very, very solid, so there are uh, many type of uh, floating and large suspended solid. Inko, it can be macreation can be achieved by commuter or macreator when the material is trapped. Up the is picture man that the, when material is trapped between teeth, mounted on a slotted rotating drum and fixed comb. The solids uske beach mein atake, Jo solid hai wo smaller particle mein more uniform size. It is it is uh, cut into a smaller one, more uniform size, and then it returned to the flow stream. So this method is particularly advantages in a pumping station, so that the clogging of the pump against uh, the rags or large object can be eliminated. 
देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कम्युनेटर आप इसमें यू कैन सी दैट दम्युनेटिंग डिवाइस इज अ मैकेनिकली क्लीन स्क्रीन विच इनकॉपरेट अ कटिंग मैकेनिज्म दैट कट्स द रिटेन मटीरियल इनेबलिंग इट टू पास अलॉन्ग द सीवेज आप देख सकते हो ऐसे ही इसमें हमारे मैक्रिएटर्स होते हैं जिसमें स्पीड ग्राइंडर्स होता है बिसाइड दैट देर आर हाई स्पीड ग्राइंडर्स देर आर फ्लो इक्वलाइजेशन वेन आई टोक अबाउट द फ्लो इक्वलाइजेशन इट इज अ मेथड विच इज बेसिकली यूज टू ओवरकम द ऑपरेशनल प्रॉब्लम कॉज बाय द फ्लो रेट वेरिएशन this is to improve the performance of the downstream process and to reduce the size and cost of downstream facilities there is mixing and flocculation uh, mixing and flocculation again the, this is two parts mixing is an important unit operation of wastewater treatment and it include as the name indicate mixing of one substance with another so it is blending of miscible liquids flocculation of waste particle continuous mixing of liquid suspension and heat transfer mixing again it is classified into continuous mixing and rapid mixing then there is flocculation flocculation is again is also of two type the when we i say flocculation the purpose of flocculation is waste water treatment is to form aggregates or to form flocks that finely divided particle and form chemically destabilized particle it is a major transport phase where uh, they form the collide they they are made to collide and they form the larger particle when they collide and they uh, flocks a uh, large particle can be removed easily either by settling or filtration process then there is flocculation and uh, this flocculation again is two type there may be micro flocculation or macro flocculation so these are the uh, primary methods beside that when i say the next method it is primary sedimentation the primary sedimentation is again by two method it can be horizontal flow or it can be through there are many Uh, solid contact clarifier inclined surface basin flotation i'll be discussing but the first two uh, first you should know what is primary sedimentation sedimentation when we say sedimentation is a passive process of physical treatment methods and it basically involves the gravitational settling of the heavy particles which are suspended in a mixture the purpose of this sedimentation is to separate the settleable solid jo bhi settleable solid hai unko sedimentation ke through remove kar sakte hain this process is basically used for the removal of grit particulate matter in the primary settling basin biological flocks in the activated sludge settling basin and chemical flock when the chemical coagulation process is used the main purpose of sedimentation is to remove a substantial portion of organic solid that otherwise would be discharged directly to the receiving water so sedimentation tank ke through bade bade settling tanks hote hain jinko hum also hum unko clarifier bhi kehte hain so ye aise design hote hain jo hamare settling tank hai ya clarifier hai there are basically three main design hote hain sedimentation tank ke jisse ki horizontal flow ho raha hai ya fir dusra hum keh sakte hain ki solid contact ho raha hai inclined surface ho raha hai so on the basis of these sedimentation tank there is the process of sedimentation uh, takes place i am just giving you an example of horizontal flow you can see the picture of horizontal and flow tank so uh, this horizontal uh, flow clarifies ye rectangle bhi ho sakta hai ye square bhi ho sakta hai ye circular bhi ho sakta hai shape mein aur isme jo rectangular uh, flow hua hai basin ka flow the flow in rectangular basis is rectly linear and it is basically parallel to the long axis of the basin whereas in the center free circular basin the water flow radially from center toward the outer edge the the, the main thing is same the only thing 
difference is the water flow horizontally and water flow circularly. So this is the horizontal flow. The second type you can see in the picture is solid contact clarifiers. So solid contact clarifiers bring incoming solid. That's a naam hai uska contact. They say solid contact clarifier bring incoming solid into contact with a suspended layer of sludge near the bottom. Isse kya hota? It act as a blank. So jitne bhi incoming solids hai, ho agglomerate ho jate hai and they remain in mash with the sludge blanket whereby the liquid is able to rise upward while the solids are retained below so these are the solid contact clarifier iske alawa there are inclined surface basins and there are flotation also when i say inclined surface basin the inclined uh, <coughs> When I say inclined surface basin, the incline as a name indicate the there is a inclined surface. They are also known as high rate settler. Basically, it's my inclined trays hoti hai, jo ki cellular section ko divide karti hai. So it reduce the particular settling time. Beside that, ye jo hai large surface area provide karti hai, jiske wajah se hamara easily sedimentation or settling. Ho jata hai. So all these are methods basically uh, to increase the sedimentation and it all depends upon the type of uh, <coughs> waste water. Then there is flotation. Uh, I have shown you a picture. This is a type of flotation. Basically, it is a dissolved air flotation. Basically, it is a dissolved air flotation, air flotation, vacuum flotation, flotation using chemical additive. So, these are the unit operation. Basically, they are used to remove solid or liquid particle from a liquid phase by introducing a fine gas, usually air bubbles. जो है हम इसमें एयर बबल मिलाते हैं एयर बबल्स जो होता है इट आइडर अडहेर टू द लिक्विड और इट ट्रैप्ड इन द पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सस्पेंडेड सॉलिड सो इसके वजह से रेजिंग ब्यून फोर्स हो जाता है एंड इट कंबाइन पार्टिकल एंड गैस बबल सो पार्टिकल्स दैट हैव हायर डेंसिटी देन द लिक्विड दे बी मेड टू राइज आप लोग समझ रहे हैं बात को एयर को मिक्स करने से क्या होता है कि जो उनकी डेंसिटी चेंज हो जाती है वो फ्लोट uh, करने लगते हैं इसके वजह से देर इज अलग अलग साइज के अलग अलग टाइम में हम उनको रिमूव कर सकते हैं जैसे जो हमारे ऊपर सर्विस पे फ्लोट हुए उनको हम स्किमिंग के थ्रू रिमूव कर सकते हैं जो कि नीचे हुए उनको हम किसी और मेथड से रिमूव कर सकते हैं सो बेसिकली दीज आर द मेथड विच इज यूज फॉर डिफरेंट uh, removal of different size of particle, different size of base which is found. Then there is uh, uh, um, this, uh, um, what is that called? Uh, <coughs> granule medium filtration. When I was saying about the air filtration, this air filtration can be of, uh, air flotation can be of different type. Dissolved air flotation, vacuum flotation, air flotation, chemical additive. All these are dependent on the uh, difference, like air flotation. In this, gas is introduced, chemical additive, some chemical is added so that uh, they will entrap air bubble. It will increase surface area, bada degi, jisse ki bubble jada ban jayenge. Jisse ferric salt hai, alum and ferric salt hai, activated silica hai. There are various organic polymers, jo ki uske liye use hote hai. Then there is granular medium filtration. When we say about the granular medium filtration, it may be filtration and cleaning and backwashing. The system may be aeration, aerated system, or then there may be adsorption with activated carbon. Jaisa ki aap dekh rahe hain, the most common type of activated carbon when we use are granular and powdered type of activated carbon. The main principle is absorption. It involves the processing of collecting soluble substance within a solution on a suitable solid surface. There are uh, active sites, adsorbent, adsorbent active sites. Usme jo hai, absorb ho jata hai. 
जैसे एक्टिवेटेड कार्बन है ये इट इज प्रोड्यूस बाय हीटिंग चार एक हाई टेम्परेचर में चार को प्रोड्यूस करते हैं तो एक्टिवेट हो जाता है एंड इट इज बेसिकली एक्टिवेटिंग इट बाय एक्सपोजर टू द ऑक्सीडाइजिंग गैस एट अ हाई टेम्परेचर सो जो गैस है इट डेवलप्स अ पोरस स्ट्रक्चर इन द चार्ज एंड देन इट क्रिएट द लार्जर इंटेंस सर्फेस एरिया so this activated charge later can be separated into various size with different absorption capacity so the most common type of activated carbon jaise main bata rahi thi it may be granular it may be powder type of activated carbon uh isme a fixed bed column jo hai wo is often used to bring the waste water into the contact with granular activated carbon which is known as gac so water jo hai wo टॉप uh, से अप्लाई करते हैं और बॉटम से बाहर निकाल देते हैं जो कि कार्बन जो है कार्बन बेड्स जो है वो प्लेस में रहते हैं इन दैट वे जो एक्टिव एब्जॉर्बन साइड है एब्जॉर्बन साइड वो हमारे एक्टिवेट हो जाते हैं द नेक्स्ट दीज आर द ऑल फिजिकल प्रोसेस और फिजिकल ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेस now coming to the chemical treatment process as the name indicate chemical treatment process is the uh, method <coughs> these are the way of changing the chemical characteristic of the waste water by adding certain chemicals so by adding certain chemical chemical reaction will take place so it will enhance the biological or physical processes the chemical processes are always in conjunction with physical and chemical process there may be chemical precipitation there may be chemical flocculation there can may be chemical chemically ph may be adjusted disinfectant these are the few chemical unit process the basically chemical precipitation when we say it is accomplished by producing a chemical precipitate that means settle hum ek chemical dal ke ek chemical precipitate banayenge jo niche settle ho jayega to ye settle ko hum remove kar sakte hain uh, alag alag tarike se we can remove it so first is chemical coagulation and flocculation नाम जैसे आपको लग ही रहा होगा कि केमिकल कॉकुलेशन ऑफ रॉ वेस्ट वाटर इट इज बिफोर प्रेसिपिटेशन इट प्रमोट द फ्लॉकुलेशन और फाइनली डिवाइडेड सॉलिड इनटू मोर रेडली सेटलेबल फ्लॉक्स इसमें अगर आप देखोगे कि इट इंक्रीज द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ सस्पेंडेड सॉलिड बीओडी फास्फोरस रिमूवल जो है वो बहुत हाई हो जाता है एज कम्पेयर टू प्लेन सेडिमेंटेशन विदाउट कॉगुलेशन तो केमिकल डाल के हम कॉगुलेट करते हैं उसके बाद सेडिमेंट करते हैं केमिकल को डालने से जो हमारी डिफरेंट टाइप के कंपाउंड uh, है उनका सेडिमेंटेशन बढ़ जाता है सो दीज आर इन इन कंजंक्शन विद द फिजिकल प्रोसेस सेडिमेंटेशन हो रहा है बट केमिकल डाल के हम Uh, उसको कॉगुलेट करते हैं लेकिन इसी में भी केमिकल कॉगुलेशन हैज टू बी टेकन केयर इसको बहुत सावधानी से करना चाहिए बिकॉज हम वी नीड टू हैव इट शुड बी कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव एंड इट शुड आल्सो बी इट शुड नॉट बी फर्दर क्रिएट द एनवायरमेंटल प्रॉब्लम बाय प्रोड्यूसिंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ पॉल्यूटेंट अगर हम कॉगुलेंट डालें तो वो कोई भी पॉल्यूशन नहीं क्रिएट करना चाहिए तो uh, जैसे अगर मैं कहूं कि हम सिंपली सेडिमेंटेशन करते हैं तो हमारा जो टोटल सेजमेंटेड सॉलिड है बीओडी है सीओडी है फास्फोरस है बैक्टीरिया लोड है ये सब हमारे रेंज uh, है बट uh, अगर हम किसी केमिकल प्रेसिपिटेशन से करें तो वो बढ़ जाता है फॉर एग्जांपल अगर मैं कहूं कि फास्फोरस uh, है फास्फोरस अगर हम प्लेन सेडिमेंटेशन से करते हैं तो केवल पांच से दस जो है वो रिमूव होता है लेकिन जब हम केमिकल प्रेसिपिटेशन से करते हैं तो 70 से 90 परसेंट जो है वो रिमूव हो जाता है तो ये सारे के सारे कॉगुलेंट जो हैं, वो हमारा सेडिमेंटेशन की प्रोसेस को बढ़ाते हैं आप देख सकते हैं मैंने एक चित्र में दिस इन दिस डायग्राम आई हैव सिंपली शोन अ कॉगुलेशन प्रोसेस जब कॉगुलेशन को एड किया जाता है इम्प्योरिटीज जो होती है वो कॉगुलेंट बनाती है इम्प्योरिटीज को ट्रैप करती है और अल्टीमेटली इम्प्योरिटी इम्प्योरिटीज जो है वो बॉटम में 
सेटल हो जाता है इसके बाद हमारा नेक्स्ट इज ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडक्शन देर आर जैसे कि नाम से ही आप लोगों तो को पता चल रहा है कि हम जो बात कर रहे हैं वो ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडक्शन की प्रोसेस की बात कर रहे हैं केमिकल ऑक्सीडेशन की प्रोसेस है तो केमिकल ऑक्सीडेशन बेसिकली इट इन्वॉल्व द यूज ऑफ ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट में क्या हो सकता है ओजोन हो सकता है हाइड्रोजन पर हो सकता है पोटेशियम पर हो सकता है क्लोरीन हो सकता है ऑक्सीजन हो सकता है तो केमिकल कॉम्पोजिशन और कंपाउंड और ग्रुप ऑफ कंपाउंड हम ले सकते हैं विच रिड्यूज द बीओडी एंड सीओडी एंड इट इट फैसिलिटेड और इट ऑक्सीडाइज द अमोनिया एंड ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ वेरियस नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड देन देर मे बी Uh, जैसे केमिकल प्रोसेस के अलावा कुछ और भी हम केमिकल uh, यूज करते हैं जैसे क्लोरीन हो गया फॉर ग्रेट ग्रीज रिमूवल के लिए बीओडी रिडक्शन के लिए हम क्लोरीन और ऑक्सीजन यूज करते हैं जैसे फेरस सल्फेट ऑक्सीडेशन हम यूज करते हैं या फिर फिल्टर कई सारे हम केमिकल इन सब में यूज करते हैं नेक्स्ट इज डिस नेक्स्ट केमिकल मेथड इज डिस डिस इन्फेक्शन इज रिफर टू द सेलेक्टिंग सेलेक्टिव डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ डिजीज कॉजिंग माइक्रो बेसिकली इट टॉक्स अबाउट द किलिंग और रिमूविंग और डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ डिजीज कॉजिंग माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम दिस डिस इन्फेक्शन प्रोसेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन वेस्ट वाटर ट्रीटमेंट एंड बेसिकली इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द नेचर ऑफ द वेस्ट वाटर इफ इफ वॉट वी से अबाउट सैनिटाइजेशन या ओपन डेफिकेशन लाइक दिस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ओपन डेफिकेशन ह्यूमन एक्सक्रीटा इट गोज डाउन टू द वॉटर रिसोर्स एंड देन देर आर नंबर ऑफ डिजीज कॉजिंग ऑर्गेनिज्म सालमोनेला और वेरियस अदर टाइप ऑफ वॉटर बॉर्न डिजीजेस एंटरिक ऑर्गेनिज्म एंटर इन टू द वॉटर बॉडी सो वी नीड टू डिस्ट्रॉय दिस माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इट मे बी थ्रू फिजिकल एजेंट बेसिकली हीट और लाइट से गर्म करके भी हम करते हैं दूसरा हम इसको डिस इन्फेक्शन मैकेनिकल मीन से भी कर सकते हैं जैसे स्क्रीनिंग से सेडमेंटेशन से फिल्ट्रेशन से एक्सेट्रा दिस मे वी कैन डू थ्रू रेडिएशन बेसिकली विच इज रेडिएशन वेन वी से इट इज बेसिकली थ्रू गामा रेस वी रिमूव इट सॉरी through radiation through gamma rays also we can do it and then various type of chemical agents that uh, uh, that uh, include chlorine compound like bromine iodine ozone phenol phenolic compounds alcohols heavy metal dyes soap synthetic detergent etc they can be removed so there are number of disinfectant there are number of mechanism basically their function is to damage the cell wall they act uh, altering the cell permeability cell the wall ko damage kar sakte hain cell permeability ko alter karte hain they alter the colloidal nature of the protoplast they inhibit the enzyme activity so this in fact and basically they kill the microorganism by any of the action <coughs> and they change the uh, structure and um, the water can be again reused so there may be a uh, different type of uh, uh, disinfectant like chlorine sodium hypochlorite calcium hypochlorite there is uh, chlorine dioxide bromine chloride ozone ultraviolet so depending upon the type of wastewater depending upon the type of uh, microorganism available uh, microorganism present into that water different type of uh, disinfectant in fact it is used but mostly the oxidizing chemicals are used and chlorine we know that it is most widely used for altering the cell permeability altering the colloidal nature of the protoplast and for the enzymatic inactivity of uh, <coughs> the microorganism which are present uh, the next these are the chemical processes now the third is biological process again when we say the biological process the biological process is basically uh 
when we say the water is contaminated, basically we talk about the microorganism. The microorganism uh, is basically uh, they because of this organic matter which is found in the wastewater. <coughs> so these microorganisms they uh, stabilize the organic matter. There are various type of microorganism, whether it is bacteria, whether it is fungi, whether it is uh, uh, bacteria again, they may be aerobic, anaerobic, facultative. Aerobic bacteria, basically when we talk about aerobic bacteria as the name indicate, they require oxygen for life support. Whereas anaerobic bacteria, they cannot sustain, uh, they, uh, anaerobic, they can sustain life without oxygen. Then there are facultative bacteria etc. So biological treatment is basically for actively going micro population which is exist in an ecosystem. There may be different type of microorganism which are present. So the treatment is basically through uh, either aerobic process or through anaerobic process. When I say aerobic process, it takes place in the presence of free oxygen and it produces reasonably stable inorganic and inorganic end product and low energy content. If you see sewage treatment plant, oxygen is basically, when we see oxidation pond or other any method, <coughs> oxygen is basically, excuse me. Oxygen is basically uh, used to uh, increase the biodegradation uh, so that the, uh, if you can see in the reaction that organic matter, oxygen plus bacteria, no doubt bacteria will uh, multiply, but end product is CO2, NO2, NO3, SO4, PO4. So they are capable, there are bacteria which are capable of oxidizing even ammonia that is processes nitrification. They can oxidize into nitrite and nitrate. There are certain bacteria which can convert nitrogen to gaseous nitrogen. So there may be aerobic bacteria and then there may be anaerobic process. Anaerobic process is takes place when in the absence of oxygen. It is more complex because basically it occurs in two stages or different species of bacteria is required. So the end product of anaerobic uh, reaction is again the considerable amount of energy. Basically, it is in the form of methane. Methane is a greenhouse gas also. It is a combustible gas also. So you might have, uh, you may be knowing about the biogas, the basically methane when it is uh, produced. When we talk about waste to energy, this is basically the uh, solid waste or uh, different technology are there when methane is produced and it can be used as a source of energy also. So this diagram, you can see that how anaerobically uh, through a fermentation process, the bacteria uh, is uh, convert the various type of uh, waste which is produced, which are present into the waste, uh, waste water. The bacteria may be cellulitic bacteria, proteolytic bacteria, or any other type of hydrolytic bacteria. They make convert basically they may be methanogens, uh, they convert into hydrogen plus CO2. Acidogenesis is the process. Uh, and this process is also used for the production of various type of fuels, um, hydrogen fuels, which is also much into demand now. That how, that's why when initially I said that wastewater treatment can provide the nutrient also and energy also. So these are the process by which we not only waste water, but it will be producing different type of energy also. I am clear till now. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So the next is uh, aerobic treatment system. Now I'll be discussing about the biological treatment system. Uh, we have discussed about the physical treatment method. We have discussed about the chemical treatment method or chemical treatment technology. Now I'll be discussing the <coughs> biological treatment system. The first one is suspended growth process. 
when I say suspended growth process, in a suspended growth process, the microorganisms which are responsible for treatment are maintained in liquid suspension by appropriate mixing method. Majority of the suspended growth process are operated with dissolved oxygen. When I say suspended growth process, dissolved oxygen and the best example or most common method of suspended growth process is activated sludge process. You can see the flow diagram for activated sludge system, activated sludge process. The activated sludge process, first it is an aerobic process. There is a continuous flow system which contain a mass of activated microorganism. These microorganisms are capable of stabilizing organic matter. This process consists of uh, basically uh, clarified wastewater. It is first primary or settling is done. Then they go into uh, aeration basin where it is mixed with an active mass of microorganism. Basically, these active mass is mainly bacteria and protozoa. Why bacteria and protozoa? Because these are, they degrade aerobically uh, organic matter into carbon dioxide, water, new cell, and end product. So the bacteria which are involved in activated sludge system, primarily, mostly they are gram-negative species. There are carbon oxidizer, there are nitrogen oxidizer, there are flock formers, non-flock formers, and aerobes and facultative. Adults. And the protozoa for their part, they include flagellate, amoebas, and cilia. So here, an aerobic environment is maintained in the basin by a mean of diffused or mechanical aeration. So mechanical air uh, provides jati hai, jisse ki oxygen jo hai, wo continuously supply hoti rahe. Jaisi jaisi completely oxygen supply hoti rahti hai, there are specific retention time hota hai, mixing time hota hai. So ye sab settle hota hai, clarify hota hai, discharge hota hai, to is tarah se ye process chalti rahti hai, or there is a activated sludge concentration need to be maintained into the, this tank. So the process basically it is intentionally uh, intentionally uh, waste a portion of the settled sludge to maintain the required solid retention time (STR) जिसको बोलते हैं for organic removal. आप लोगों ने अगर कभी industry की visit की होगी waste uh, CTP की visit की होगी किसी वहाँ पर ये activated sludge uh, या फिर oxidation pond ये सब वहाँ पर बहुत you will be finding a lot of uh, this type. You can see the uh, activated, how it is operating. Then uh, there is suspended growth aerated legume. Wo to, uh, activated sludge ke baad hamara dusra aata hai. Uh, activated sludge ke hum jab baad karte hai, wo suspended growth process hai. Now what we are talking about suspended growth aerated legumes. It is a lagoon. So when we are saying about a lagoon, lagoon mein kya hota? It's a basin. Usually um, depth very good. <laughs> Basically, aerated lagoon jo hai, wo ek basin hota hai, jo ki ek se char meter depth mein hota hai, where base water is treated either on a flow through basin or with solid recycling. So microbiology which is involved in this process is again similar to that of activated sludge process. The only difference is the large surface area created. So large surface area ke vijay se uh, it cause more temperature effect than uh, this is conventional activated sludge process mein hoti hai. To humara jo hai wo waste water is oxygenated by surface turbine or diffuse aeration is mein hota hai aur BOD value remove hoi mein matlab easy hota hai. Basically these are the BOD kam hota hai, COD kam hota hai because BOD and COD is basically the organic matter which is present into the wastewater and microorganism required this organic matter to break down into the compound and then these uh, extended aeration is provided so that the biodegradation process can be 
enhanced. Aap dekh sakte hai, the principal type of aerated lagoons, they are classified based on the manner in which soils are handled. They may be facultative, partially mixed, aerobic flow through partially mixed, or alag lag tarak ke hamare hote. The third one is sequential batch reactor. Jaisa ki naam se hi hai, hamara next aata hai, sequential batch reactor. Sequential batch reactor, uh, when we say sequential batch reactor, sequential SBR. Again, it is an activated sludge process. It is designed to operate under non-steady state condition. Basically, a batch mode and uh, sludge settlement uh, same tank. If we have SBR, or con conventional continuous flow activated sludge system mein dekhe, to hamara jo SBR tank hota hai, usme equalization, aeration, sedimentation, it's sequence mein hota hai. That's why its name is sequential batch reactor. Basically, ye hamara jo SBR hota hai, it is designed with the ability to treat a wide range of influent volumes. Isme jo hai fixed influent flow rate hota hai humare activated stuff. But humare sequence till mein jo hota hai, wo humare different type ka large volume of the water can be used. Usually isme kai tarah ke process hota hai SBR cycle mein, anoxic fill, aerated fill, react, settle, decant, idle. Mein in sab mein detail mein nahi jaoongi, lekin these are, for example, agar hum anoxic fill kare. So, anoxic film is what happens effluent waste water it is distributed throughout the settled sludge through an influent distribution manifold. So, it makes a good contact between the microorganism and the substrate. As the influent is pumped and gravity is flowed through, our microorganism is in contact with it. And this is our response. Next, I will you that is simply a MBR. You will micro membrane bioreactor system. Membrane bioreactor system, as the name is, there are, uh, this is again, basically process to wahi hai jo activated sludge ki process hai lekin there is a membrane separation kyunki membrane bioreactor hai iska matlab ki process wahi ho rahi hai but it is separated through a membrane aajkal agar hum baat kare to when i talk about the the treatment system treatment technology there are number of treatment technology there is advancement in the treatment technology lekin har jagah ki treatment technology jo hai wo depend karti hai ki kis tarah ka waste hai kitna cost hai ki jaise hum membrane ki baat kare kai tarah ke membranes abhi bhi hamare bante ja rahe hain lekin what is the cost of that membrane? What is the efficacy of that membrane? How it can be, it is a pilot scale, mein kitna useful ho hai. still abhi bhi hamare research is mein chalte ra, ja rahe hai. So membrane basically is, uh, it is used, it employ the activated search process. Membrane mein liquid solid separation hota hai. Isme usual settling nahi hai, liquid solid separation hota hai. Sub suspended solid can be removed completely and bacteria free treated water is produced. The sludge concentration and hydro uh, hydraulic loading rates are considerably higher than the conventional treatment. So, a separation, a membrane, we do a separation. Karke, uske baad isme hum karte hai. Next, agar aap dekho to, next is stabilization form. Stabilization pond, just like in the name, it is a stable example. It is a relatively shallow body of wastewater. It is either in earthen basin or mixed biological process. Jada than mixing natural hota hai, matlab is me hum mechanized aeration jada than nahi karte hai, ye mixing ho sakta hai, wind se, heat se, fermentation se. Sometime hum is me induced aeration bhi karte hai, mechanical or diffused aeration. 
जो स्टेबिलाईजेशन पॉन्स होते हैं वो यूजली क्लासिफाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ द बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटी दैट टेक प्लेस ऑन देम मे बी बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटी एरोबिक हो सकती है अनएरोबिक हो सकती है और एरोबिक अनोरोबिक दोनों में से कोई भी हो सकती है एरोबिक पॉन्स जो है वो प्राइमरली सोलबल ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट के लिए यूज होते हैं एंड अनबिक और फैकल्टेटिव पॉन्स जो है वो बहुत कॉमन टाइप के हैं डोमेस्टिक वाटर को यूज करने के लिए फैकल्टेटिव पॉन्स यूज किए जाते हैं इवन इंडस्ट्रियल वेस्ट वाटर के लिए भी फैकल्टेटिव पॉन्ड यूज किए जाते हैं दे आर वेरी इफेक्टिव पर्टिकुलरली इफेक्टिव इन ब्रिंगिंग अबाउट रैपिड स्टेबिलाईजेशन एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट आप देख सकते हैं कि जो बैक्टीरिया और पॉपुलेशन होती है वो ऑर्गेनिक मेटर को ऑक्सीडाइज करती है वो अमोनिया और कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड प्रोड्यूस करती है इसके अलावा सल्फेट है वाटर है और कुछ और एंड प्रोडक्ट बनते हैं जो कि अगर हम देखें तो एलगी एलगी भी उसमें होती है जो कि एलगी के द्वारा दिन में वो ऑक्सीजन प्रोड्यूस करने के काम आ जाती है सो so, ये एक सिम्बायोटिक प्रोसेस में चलता रहता है बेसिकली इस ऑक्सीडेशन पॉन्ड में अगर आप देखो रिटेंशन टाइम जो 30 से 120 दिन का होता है और दिस इज अ ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेस दैट इज वेरी कॉमनली फाइंड इन रूरल एरिया द रीजन बींग फॉर दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ लो कॉस्ट एंड लो कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड ऑपरेटिंग cost so these are stabilizing point here i have given a uh, just a comparison of uh uh here i have uh, given a comparison if you see that uh, different type of ponds their common name common characteristics and uh, what are the application you can see that the point may be aerobic or aerobic anaerobic which is supplemental operations aeration aerobic anaerobic that is oxygen from algae pure anaerobic or anaerobic followed by aerobic anaerobic so basically these all are uh, using the microorganism but slight modification in the process makes the application depending upon the type of waste produced for example aerobic there may be low rate pond high rate pond or maturation pond so there is throughout aerobic conditions are mature, uh, maintained but uh, the soluble organic waste usme se remove ho jata hai second be effluent hai nutrient removal hai treatment of soluble organic waste hai conversion of water hai so these are different type of aerobic then there are different type of facultative pond facultative aerobic facultative anaerobic there is anaerobic lagoons anaerobic pre treatment pond and pond system so different type of pond system to remove the different type of waste now uh, after this um, ponds or different type of aerobic process there is uh, next is attached growth process the attached growth process in this the microorganism are responsible for conversion of organic material or nutrient they are attached to an inert packing material like there is attached growth process they are attached to an inert packing material so these organic materials and nutrients they are removed from the waste water by flowing past this attached growth विच इज कॉल्ड एज बायोफिल्म आपने सुना होगा हमेशा बायोफिल्म की हम बात करते हैं या जब भी हम वेस्ट वाटर ट्रीटमेंट की बात करते हैं वेदर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ट्रिकलिंग फिल्टर और रोटेटिंग बायोलॉजिकल कॉन्ट्रैक्टर आर बी सी की बात कर रहे हैं या देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एनोरोबिक ट्रीटमेंट सिस्टम है एरोबिक फिल्टर्स है दीज ऑल आर अटैच ग्रोथ इसमें बायोफिल्म बनती है और ये बायोफिल्म के थ्रू जो है मेटीरियल कैन बी रिमूव so first is trickling filter trickling filter agar hum dekhe this is the most commonly encountered aerobic attached growth biological treatment process basically it is used for the removal of organic so, matter from waste water so trickling filters are one of the oldest type of biological filter still they are most common type of biological filter for several reason the reason advantage agar aap dekhe trickling filter ka they are reliable they are simple 
they are effective, they are inexpensive, they are drugged. These filters are filled with rock or coal. And uh, some uh, trickling filters are uh, abhi bhi rock or gravel se bante hai. But uh, trickling filters, basically now they are uh, outdated and there are inefficient type of biological filter. But phir bhi kyunki ye easy hai, less cost hai, phir bhi inka abhi use ho ra hai. Isme agar aap dekhen, trickling filter mein ek highly permeable medium hota hai to which organism are attached. That's why these are known as attached growth. They form a biological slime layer, jisko hum biofilm kehte hai, iske through base water percolate hota hai. The filter medium usually consists of rock or plastic packing material. The organic material which are present into the waste water is degraded, absorbed ho jate on the biological slime layer or biofilm mein. So, out of form portion of the layer is degraded by the aerobic microorganism. Jaysay jaysay microorganism grow hoti jate hai, is biofilm ki uh, layer ki thickness jo hai, wo badhti jati hai. Jaysay jaysay thickness badhti jati hai, vaysay vaysay kya ho jayega? Oxygen is depleted before it has penetrated the full depth of slime layer. So, dheere dheere dheere, anaerobic environment jo hai, wo stepish ho jata hai near the surface of the filter medium. जैसे जैसे स्लाइम लेयर इंक्रीज होती जाती है डिग्रेड होता है बिफोर इट रीचेस टू द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म नियर द सरफेस ऑफ द मीडियम सो डिप्राइव्ड ऑफ देयर एक्सटर्नल ऑर्गेनिक सोर्स ऑफ द नरिशमेंट दीस माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म डाई एंड आर वॉश्ड ऑफ बाय द फ्लोइंग लिक्विड सो फिर नई स्लाइम लेयर ग्रो होती है इस तरह से ये फिनोमेना चलता रहता है जिसको हम स्लोइंग कहते हैं जैसे जैसे वाटर जो है वो फिल्टर से प्रास्ट होता जाता है देन ये बायोलॉजिकल सॉलिड जो होते हैं वो मीडियम से डिटैच हो जाते हैं और उसके बाद कलेक्ट होके बायोलॉजिकल स्लाइम लेयर जो है मॉस कंडीशन में फिर धीरे धीरे ये हमारी अलग हो जाती है तो दी दिस इज योर ट्रिक सॉरी रोटेटिंग बायोलॉजिकल कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स नाउ देर इज एरोबिक फिल्टर एंड सॉरी रोटेटिंग बायोलॉजिकल कॉन्ट्रैक्टर इज आर बी सी अगेन इट इज अटैच ग्रोथ बायोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस दैट कंसिज वन और मोर बेसिन विच लार्जली क्लोज स्पेस और डिस्क माउंट हॉरिजेंटल शेफ्ट होता है ठीक है कई तरह के अगर आप देखो इसमें भी अगर आप देखो इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू सी नंबर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट ऊपर वाला है ये देखिए इसमें देखिए आरबीसी रोटेटिंग बायोलॉजिकल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अगर आप देखोगे तो इसमें कई सारे आरबीसी यूनिट्स होती हैं ये आरबीसी यूनिट्स जो होती हैं बेसिकली सीरीज ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट स्टेग होती हैं और कंपार्टमेंट होती हैं सो देर इज सिंगल बेसिन वो जो कि अलग अलग स्टेज से अलग होता है और कई तरह के कंडीशन प्रोवाइड करती है इन कंपार्टमेंट के थ्रू जो है वो वेस्ट वाटर बहता है और धीरे धीरे वो हमारा ऑर्गेनिक रिमूव होता जाता है इसके बाद आपका आता है एरोबिक सिस्टम और एनएरोबिक एनोरोबिक ट्रीटमेंट सिस्टम और अनएरोबिक फिल्टर अगेन जैसे कि नाम से उसमें लिखा है समझ आ रहा है अनएरोबिक ट्रीटमेंट सिस्टम सो दिस इज अनएरोबिक ट्रीटमेंट टेक्नोलॉजी एफिशिएंट है वेल डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटेड है कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव है ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट को डिस्पोज करती है बिसाइड दैट ये कई तरह के फ्यूल बनाती है फर्टिलाइजर बनाती है विदाउट रिलीजिंग ग्रीन हाउस गैसेस ये अनोरोबिक प्रोसेस जो है वो लार्ज नंबर डाइजेस्टिव अनोरोबिक डाइजेस्टर्स होते हैं ये अनोरोबिक डाइजेस्टर्स जो है वो लार्ज नंबर के पैथोनोजेनिक माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म को किल करते हैं इसके अलावा ये एनर्जी भी बनाते हैं मिथेन गैस में जिससे कि हमारा इंजन चल सकता है जनरेटर चल सकता है एग्रीकल्चर मशीनरी चल सकती है और यही एनोरोबिक डाइजेस्टर जो है वो लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ स्लज बनाता है यही स्लज जो है वो एग्रीकल्चर में एज अ फर्टिलाइजर भी यूज हो सकता है सो so, जो हमारा अनएरोबिक डाइजेस्टर्स है दिस आप लोगों ने देखा होगा मुझे ऐसा लगता है जहां मिथेन गैस में अगर कोई गया होगा तो बड़े बड़े डाइजेस्टर्स होते हैं उसमें एनोरोबिक डाइजेशन होता है और गैस जो है बाइफ के थ्रू किचन में या इवन फॉर पंपिंग वॉटर 
वॉटर पंप के लिए इन सब चीजों के लिए यूज करते हैं सो so, अगर हम देखें अगर एक बहुत अच्छा एयर डाइजेस्टर जो है वो बायोगैस जो बना है इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कुकिंग लाइटिंग गैस के लिए अगर हम देखें तो एक बहुत अच्छा डाइजेस्टर जो है वो इट कैन प्रोड्यूस पॉइंट वन एम थ्री गैस पर एम थ्री डाइजेस्टर वॉल्यूम एंड उसमें बेसिकली आप देखो मीथेन होती है सेवेंटी परसेंट थर्टी परसेंट जो है वो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड होती है इट कैन बी यूज इवन जो स्लरी बनती है कई जगह पे आप देखोगे जहां पर दिस मीथेन गैस प्लांट होता है वहां पर ये स्लरी जो होती है वो पिग्स के लिए सप्लीमेंट की तरह यूज होता है या फिर इसको मशरूम के लिए मीडिया यूज करते हैं और या फिर इसको वर्मी कंपोज सब्सट्रेट के लिए भी यूज करते हैं सेकेंड जो है वो है एनरोबिक फिल्टर एनरोबिक फिल्टर जो है हमारा एनरोबिक डाइजेस्टर तो हो गया एनरोबिक सिस्टम में पहली एनरोबिक डाइजेस्टर हो गया दूसरा एनरोबिक फिल्टर एनरोबिक फिल्टर को फिक्स्ड बेड और फिक्स फिल्म रिएक्टर भी कहते हैं यूजुअली ये यूज होता है ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ नॉन सेटलेबल एंड डिजोल्व सॉलिड उनको क्लोज कॉन्टेक्ट में रहते हैं बाई एक्टिव बैक्टीरियल मास एंड टूगेदर दीज बैक्टीरिया दी डाइजेस्ट the dissolved organic matter with short retention time anaerobic filters they consist of various supportive material layers they are having uh, material layers or bed which is called that's why these are called fixed bed reactor there is fixation of microorganism biofilm banti hai and this this is used for the formation of uh, um, treatment sorry this can be applied for uh, treating the concentrated waste water and also the waste water grey water ke liye bhi kar sakte hain jisme load kam hai so these are the anaerobic method hum agar dekhe to hamara kai tarah ka waste hota hai uh, whether it is uh, domestic waste water hai industrial waste water hai uh, suspended uh, solid jisme kam hai उसके लिए ये हमारा एनरोबिक डाइजेस्टर या फिर हमारा एनरोबिक फिक्स बेड फिल्म रिएक्टर इज यूज द नेक्स्ट ऑन द लास्ट मेथड विच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज वेटलैंड मेथड ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट देर आर अगेन आई वुड लाइक टू सबमिट दैट देर आर मेनी मेथड्स मेनी न्यू मेथड्स न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी इज कमिंग अप there are always innovation when we talk about the waste water treatment beside that uh, in india also if you see that there is a river namami gange project is going on there is river rejuvenation there is a delhi a ministry of river rejuvenation at uh, uh, ganga rejuvenation so uh, number of ctp plant whether it is decentralized treatment method or centralized so number of technology are coming up what i am discussing is very basic type of uh, technology or uh, which are being used for the uh, treatment of waste water so when i say wetland method of treatment the principal mechanism when i say when we say that waste water treatment in, uh, in uh, wetland is basically sedimentation bacterial action filtration absorption there may be precipitation there may be nutrient uptake and in some way there are use of vegetation also it is used for the treatment so wetland system uh, they may be natural wetland or there may be constructed wetland when we say the natural wetland in the natural wetland uh, the in this process where the waste water is distributed evenly as a low rate filter so dheere 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 isme kya hota hai suspended organic matter jo hai wo uh, absorb hote hain soil particle mein nutrient are released by the vegetation and more complex organic material are decomposed into a simple organic inorganic compound by bacteria so a ground surface mein hum waste water ko distribute karte hain low rate filter ki tarah dusra hamara hota hai constructed wetland constructed as the name indicate the constructed wetland are created artificially to improve the quality of water 
these wetlands are designed on the lines of natural wetland which are considered and humko aap logo ko pata hi hoga ki wetland jo hai wo uh, earth ki kidney ke naam se jane jate hain is tarah se hum constructed wetland banate hain jisme ki hamare filter jo hai wo pollutant uh, को फ्लोइंग वाटर उसे क्लियर करे जो कंस्ट्रक्टेड वेटलैंड है ये यूटिलाइज द नेचुरल प्रोसेस जो हमारी नॉर्मल वेटलैंड लेती है जैसे वेटलैंड वेजिटेशन हो गई सॉइल हो गई उसमें माइक्रोब्स हैं ये सारी प्रोसेस के साथ आ, आ, काम में आते हैं सो कंस्ट्रक्टेड वेटलैंड दे कैन बी डिफाइंड एज अ वेटलैंड स्पेसिफिकली कंस्ट्रक्टेड फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल एंड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट it has a uh, naturally it should be away from the naturally existing wetland the constructed wetland basically they are used to improve the quality whether it is a non point or a point source of water pollution or it is also used for the uh, treatment of petroleum waste refined waste compost waste landfill waste fish pond etc कंस्ट्रक्टेड वेटलैंड पे अगर आप थोड़ा स्पेसिफिक एरिया हो जाता है लेकिन आप देखेंगे नीरी ने नेशनल एनवायरमेंटल इंजीनियरिंग रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट ने दे हैव पेटेंटेड दिस फाइटो वी कैन से दैट इट इज फाइटो टेक्नोलॉजी इसको वो बोलते हैं फाइटो टेक्नोलॉजी बिकॉज प्लांट्स आर बीइंग यूज्ड एंड जम्मू में भी एक प्लांट उन्होंने लगाया है इवन इन दिल्ली दिल्ली में भी सीवेज वाटर जो है कई सारे के वेटलैंड जो है उनको रिवाइव करने का प्लान चल रहा है सीवेज वाटर जो है उसको हम उसको दिस फाइटो टेक्नोलॉजी के थ्रू और कंस्ट्रक्टेड वेटलैंड टेक्नोलॉजी के थ्रू द वेस्ट वाटर whether it is domestic waste or municipal waste or now also sewage waste also it's uh, being treated because it is a natural process so you know, there is it is with the combination <coughs> of different type of processes or primary bhi hoga secondary bhi hoga फिर फिजिकल भी होगा उसके बाद ये कंस्ट्रक्टेड वेटलैंड डिफरेंट टाइप के वीट प्लांट्स डिफरेंट टाइप के प्लांट्स इसमें लिए जा सकते हैं तो बेसिकली कंस्ट्रक्टेड वेटलैंड में ज्यादा डिटेल में नहीं जाऊंगी टाइम भी शायद हो रहा है बट कंस्ट्रक्टेड वेटलैंड जो है वो वेस्ट वाटर यूजली कंस्ट्रक्टेड फॉर वेस्ट वाटर विद लो सस्पेंडेड सॉलिड वेर सीओडी शुड बी लेस जहां पर सीओडी बिलो 500 मिलीग्राम पर लीटर होती है कई तरह के हमारे कंस्ट्रक्टेड वेटलैंड होते हैं कंस्ट्रक्टेड वेटलैंड जो है वो हमारा हॉरिजेंटल फ्लो हो सकता है ओवरलैंड ट्रीटमेंट हो सकता है या वर्टिकल लो फिल्टर हो सकता है सो so, अगर आप देखें तो वाटर जो है इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड क्लियर केयरफुली ऑन द कंट्रोल लैंड चैनल से होते हैं स्प्रिंकल होते हैं ओवरलैंड ट्रीटमेंट करते हैं ऐसे हॉरिजेंटल फिल्टर होते हैं और हमारे कैसे फिल्टर होते हैं वर्टिकल फिल्टर होते हैं जस्ट आपको एक पिक्चर दिखाती हूँ This is horizontal, नीचे वाला horizontal है ऊपर वाला vertical है horizontal easy है एक हमारा पानी जो है एक हमने constructed wetland किया वेस्ट वाटर इसमें से फ्लो हुआ हमारा वेजिटेशन है और धीरे 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 जो है हमारा पानी जो है वो क्लैरिफाई हो जाता है दूसरा ऊपर वाला अगर आप देखोगे this one. This is vertical है वर्टिकल में वी हैव टू हैव द वर्टिकल फ्लो ऑफ वॉटर एंड दिस इज basically more effective but difficult to uh, maintain as compared to our horizontal wetland now when we say that uh, types of constructed wetland the constructed wetlands again kai tarah ke hote hain but just to name surface flow wetland ho sakta hai sub surface flow wetland ho sakta hai uh, jaise surface flow wetland mein kya hai ki uh, these are shallow basin there are some type of barriers to the prevent seepage nahi ho soil ho group of vegetation ho so there are structures are made constructed so that the uh, water can be treated uh, just to give you an advantage and disadvantages of constructed wetland 
वेटलैंड क्यों हम कंस्ट्रक्टेड वेटलैंड में इसमें सभी मेथड जो है उनकी सर्टन डिसएडवांटेज और सर्टन एडवांटेज है बट मैंने स्पेसिफिकली जो है कंस्ट्रक्टेड वेटलैंड की दी है क्योंकि दे आर लेस एक्सपेंसिव दे आर बेसिकली इको फ्रेंडली टेक्नोलॉजी उसकी ऑपरेशन एंड मेंटेनेंस एक्सपेंसेस जो है वो लो है इट ओनली पीरियोडिक चाहिए हमें कंटिन्यूस मॉनिटरिंग नहीं चाहिए जैसे आप अगर एक्टिवेट स्लज मेथड देखो या कहीं पे बड़ी बड़ी मैकेनाइज uh, हमें चाहिए डिफरेंट टाइप के रिएक्टर्स हैं तो वो हमें कंटिन्यूस मैटर करना है उनको हमें कंटिन्यूस मेंटेन करना है बट इन सब में लो मेंटेनेंस केस होता है फ्लक्चुएशन को भी है सो वॉटर रीयूज हो सकता है रिसाइकिल हो सकता है देर आर न्यूमरस बेनिफिट फॉर द वॉटर क्वालिटी इम्प्रूवमेंट बट देर आर डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑल्सो बिकॉज एवरी सिस्टम हैज डिसएडवांटेज समाइम क्या होता है कि पुअर परफॉर्मेंस जो है वो कोल्ड वेदर में हो जाती है क्योंकि वहां पर लोअर टेम्परेचर की वजह से उसका वो वॉट एवर द प्रोसेस वो स्लो हो जाता है कई सारे प्रॉब्लम बेस्ट के भी हो सकते हैं कई बार अच्छे से कंस्ट्रक्टेड वेटलैंड नहीं बनाया तो दैट ऑल्सो विल लीड टू मेनी टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सो दीज आर द वेरियस process various uh, waste water technology i have discussed with you there may be uh, primary treatment there may be secondary treatment there may be tertiary treatment there are physical treatment method chemical treatment method there may be bi there are biological treatment method so there are number of uh, water Uh, treatment technology the types of technology which we are using usually which uh, are being used usually it is in the they are in the conjunction physical के साथ केमिकल कर सकते हैं फिजिकल के साथ बायोलॉजिकल कर सकते हैं समटाइम फिजिकल केमिकल बायोलॉजिकल सारे के सारे कर सकते हैं इसके अलावा फिर देर आर एडवांस ऑल्सो जो कि अगेन चाहे हम उनको अल्ट्रा वायलेट रेज की बात करें चाहे हम उन्हें ओजोनेशन की बात करें या हम किसी भी और की बात वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज मच रिक्वायर्ड नाउ वर्ल्ड वाटर डे इज कमिंग ऑन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड अप्रैल दैट डे ऑल्सो द थीम इज बेसिकली ऑन द ग्राउंड वाटर रिचार्ज देर आर नंबर ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री प्रोग्राम विच आर बींग लॉन्च न्यू वाटर पॉलिसी इज देयर and uh, um, catch the rain this campaign is going on with the swachh bharat uh, uh, mission or uh, what is that called uh, uh, ajadi ka amrit mahotsav there are series of lectures are going on by the ministry just for uh, creating the awareness sensitization to this very important issue so with this uh, i end my presentation uh, for the water treatment technology thank you